Oh my gosh, this is probably the best apple juice I've ever had in my life. And a graham cracker. Mm. What's up, it's Anthony Ferraro here. I'm a blind professional athlete, motivational speaker, musician. Just became a dad recently. It's like 2.30 in the morning. It's the night, well I guess the morning of now that I'm getting ACL surgery. If you don't know, I tore my ACL like in the end of November at the Para Pan American Games for Judo. I'm on Team USA. Other than that, I skateboard. This happened in Judo where I was fighting and then all of a sudden I heard my knee just like, I was on this whole journey to go to Paris 2024. It was a qualifying tournament, getting points. I was doing really well. In the last eight seconds of my first match that I won, I tore my ACL but didn't know it yet. I couldn't really walk off the mat and then my adrenaline wore off. I went out and fought another match and then my knee just popped. I fought two more matches. My ACL completely tore. Did the MRI, went to the doctor, and now I'm finally, after months of putting it off, going to Paris to skateboard and do all these things, finally going in for surgery. And I'm like wide awake, like, wow! Really nervous. I'm not allowed to eat starting at midnight, so yeah. When it first happened, I was super depressed. I had this like layer of just sadness and fear and anxiety and anger and all these all these emotions. Feeling a little better now. I feel a little lighter and kind of ready to start this whole new journey, next journey. It's annoying though because you know it screwed up my whole Olympic journey. And before this, before Tokyo, I was really close to making it there. It's all part of the journey. You can't give up. You know, in life, you're always gonna run into these bumps in the road. You gotta keep going forward. So I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Just hoping this goes well. Hoping I can sleep. Like I could run a marathon right now, which probably wouldn't be a good thing because I have no ACL. So I'm gonna be bringing you guys through my entire ACL recovery journey. It's gonna be a long road. I don't know what's in store. I don't know what it's gonna entail. I gotta do all these things. I just want to be able to get back to doing the things I love. Oh, also quick side note, not really a vlogger. I'm doing my best. So any tips or tricks, anything. So please subscribe, follow along and I'll bring you on my journey and we can have a lot of fun together and do, you know, have a good time. Don't hold it against me, the vlogging. The camera's not facing me perfectly. I'm blind. So yeah, let's do this. Well, got about three hours of sleep. Crappy weather. Today's the day. I'm scared, but it'll be right. But I'm scared. I mean, they're cutting my leg open. Guess I gotta get ready. I just went to get dressed and I put it on backwards. Kelly's getting the baby ready. Just getting ready. I figured wear comfy clothes to surgery. I was gonna try and shower, but there's not enough time. Um, yeah, today is the day. Dun, dun, dun. Just walking around, getting my last steps in before I can. not See you in the car. Figure I'd, uh, Run down these, figured I'd run down these steps one last time. For now. Yeah! How am I gonna get up these on crutches? Eh, we'll find out. We're on our way. We're like 30 minutes away and I'm feeling so many emotions. <laughs> so surreal, I'm like, I don't know, I can't believe I'm about to go get knocked out, put under a knife to cut my leg open, re, like taking tendons and then reattaching them and then hoping they grow together. Isn't it crazy that like you go into surgery and you they could really be doing anything. Like no one, you know, none of your family's allowed to watch, you're not allowed to watch. We should be able to get a live stream of our surgery that we can send to everyone. Make little shorts of it, so then there's shorts of your surgery, so you have little memories and it'd be cool. And now we're attaching the tendon and it looks like a, all I think about when I think about surgery is I think about when um, I was in seventh grade and I had to cut open our chicken thigh and it was all like, like there was veins and tendons and you had to break through them and, and I feel like that's what they're gonna be doing to my knee. I don't want to be a chicken. I don't want to be a duck. Go for a stop recording. But we just got here. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. We got Kelly's mom here to help watch the little one while I go into surgery. So Nana for the win. Hi Nana. Hello. Well we made it to the surgery center. I'm in the elevator. It's happening. Don't be nervous. Clean. 
in the waiting room, just filled out all the paperwork. Had to confirm I was getting the right surgery, all this stuff, but I'm all set, got my wristband. It's happening. What's happening? What are you doing? Where's the gown? <laughs> With the back, the opening to the back. I'm in the hospital bed and I am feeling nervous now. I got the IV in my arm, I got these stickers. They kicked me out. They're getting ready to give him the first doses of anesthesia. I felt bad, he was so nervous. Oh, hi. Look who's here. Just got the text message from it. The center that Anthony is now in recovery. Everything went good as planned, so now I just have to wait another 40 minutes or so, and I'm gonna get the car ready right now to help get in. My mom, my mom's driving. Mile, right There's for Delta. Taylor's Mills Road. Signs for Taylor's Mills Road. Little baby. Talk soon. Hey. Hi. You did it. How are you feeling? Sedated. How are you feeling? Sedated. You're sedated? I have cameras in your face, sorry. No. <laughs> By his request, trust me. Hi, honey. You did it. Look at the cookie. A lot better. What is it at? Uh, I guess two. I, 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 oh. <laughs> I did it. You did it. You did it. Now it goes a really long road of recovery. It is a long road, but you got it. They have a they have a hose going into it with heat. Really? Oh. That's what's making the it. The anesthesia guy was like, don't worry, I'm gonna have a hot air blanket on you when you get out. Yeah, there's the blanket. The tube is going in here and edgy blowing hot air. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is probably the best apple juice I've ever had in my life. And a graham cracker. Mm. Outside. It's real. Go. Oh, wow. Okay. Here you go. Is it back enough? Yep. Thank you so much You're for welcome. everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that, it's recording. I got a lot of stuff. Uh. I am in the front seat of the car. I'm out of it. I don't even know what's going on down there. You made it! Uh, a long road to recovery. Thanks, don't twist. What is going on? We're in the car. I can't believe it's over. So much anxiety leading up to that for months. And I have no idea what these next couple months are gonna look like. More than a couple. Right now, my spirits are, I'd say like, even, you know, just level. I think it's gonna be good. I think I'm gonna learn a lot about my body and just recovery and taking care of myself. I don't know, I'm out of it. My knee is a little uncomfortable. We got the huge brace on, I headed back. I don't know, that was crazy. When they gave me the anesthesia, first one that's like not the one that puts you out, just so they give me the nerve blocker, I, I like fell asleep and then woke up and I was going in and out and then next thing I knew I was being wheeled to the, to the surgery room. I was freezing and then they put this like blanket on on me that they blow hot air in and it was the most amazing thing ever just in this warm blanket and then they put the mask over your face and next thing you know you wake up but they told me at one point oh yeah you might wake up at the end of surgery when we're pulling the tube out of your mouth for oxygen and I was so bugged out that that was gonna happen but it didn't happen we got the fam we're cruising you got my best partner in the world helped me so much and Delta, hi. Let's see what it's like when we get home. Okay. Just come towards me. I think they're a little low. <laughs> they are, but you need them moved up at this exact moment because yeah. it's going to take me a minute to be able to do that. What are you doing? Can you not reach it when you do them the right way? No. I'm good. Okay. All right, step to the I'm side. I'm just scared to step on it. It's All right, weird. well. You have never had crutches before. Never in my life. You can do it. Okay, here's the first step. Yeah. 
You're better off potentially going down steps backwards. I would say it's gonna be easier. I'm leaning up. I have my one leg is straight. I step up with the good leg, okay. and then I pull the straight one up. So go up on the, with the good leg, step backwards. Step backwards. Does that feel okay? Yeah. All right, baby. Yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> Get up these stairs. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here, you want them? Just go ahead. I made it. I made it. Now time to go recover and just rest. Like and subscribe. Follow along for the journey. I appreciate every one of you. And you'll be vlogging. We're gonna get through this together. We're gonna have updates. We're gonna have fun. Let's go. One love, yeah. one, one ACL, one love.